Hey what's up everyone, with the Galaxy Note 7 on the horizon, I'm wrapping up my case review series for the LG G5. Today, I've got 10 top cases that were sent to me out for review, and we're going to take a look at them now. They range from protective to stylish to thin fitting, so hopefully there's something here for everyone. Ian in here from Udroid Mania, and you're watching my full review. So let's get started. First up, let's take a look at some protective cases by Otterbox. We'll start with the Symmetry. This case is made from a hard polycarbonate outer and a synthetic rubber inner. It's a one-piece case that goes on in a snap. It only requires that you press down on all four sides. It's just that simple, super easy. And here's our first look at the case. It's got an ultra sleek profile that contours the phone. And just as with any Otterbox case, it's been drop certified. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take the tour. As usual, we start with the bottom. You've got the cutouts for the USB Type-C connector and the speaker grill. Along the left-hand side, you'll find the volume rocker. It's both clicky and responsive, just as you'd expect. So you're not going to have any issues here. Up top, you've got the cutout for your 3.5mm headphone jack, your IR blaster, and noise-canceling mic. Along the right-hand side, you've got that OtterBox branding etched into the side of the case. And I gotta say, I do like how the two distinct pieces come together. On the back of the case, you've got a spacious cutout to protect your camera, as well as access to the fingerprint scanner. Finally, along the bottom, you've got some additional OtterBox branding here. As you know, OtterBox is known for their impact resistance. I mean, take a look at this bezel. It's gotta be at least 2 millimeters. Overall, this case feels pretty good in the hand. You know that it's protective and you've got that lay on the table support. You know with Otterbox, it's not the cheapest case out there, but the link's down below if you're interested, so go and check it out. Next up, we've got the Otterbox commuter. Now with this case, it's made from a flexible TPU inner and a hard polycarbonate outer. You'll notice that there is a screen protector here included, but we're not gonna be using that today. To install the case, you'll just separate the two pieces. And before we do that, let me just mention that if you're really going for protection, a two-part case made in this fashion is one of the best that you can get, especially since it's made with shock absorbency and impact in mind. When it comes to the install, you'll take the TPU inner and wrap that around the phone as shown here. It's pretty easy. Then you'll take the polycarbonate outer and fit that into position. And with the commuter series here, you definitely feel the protection. How's it look? Getting into the tour, the bottom's up. The first thing I'll point out is the dust plug over the USB connector. You've also got the proper cutouts here. Oh, and now you can see what's missing from the symmetry. There's nothing along the right-hand side, but you can see how well the two pieces of the case come together. Up top, another dust plug over that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left, you've got a raised volume rocker, as well as a pretty decent bezel that runs around the perimeter of the display. Along the back of the case, you've got a slightly deeper well protecting that camera, as well as all access to your fingerprint scanner. And lastly, you've got that OtterBox branding along the bottom. With this particular case, I did drop it several times from about 4 feet, I'd say. So that's about the height of my desk, and as you can see here, there's not a single scratch on this phone. From that height and on a wood floor, this case definitely handles the impact, without a doubt. So if you added that screen protector, OtterBox has got you covered. This case easily fits into the pocket of a normal sized pair of pants or shorts. So as you can see, there's not too much added bulk. And speaking of bulk, let's take a look at the Defender. This today is the most protective case that we're going to see. As you can see, it's got this hard polycarbonate encasement that completely surrounds your phone. Out of the three also, this is probably the one with the most difficulty when it comes to the install, especially since it has the most pieces to the case. But with that also comes the most protection. Before doing the install, you'll want to make sure that the display is clean, and that's because any debris there will be trapped underneath the built-in screen protector. Lastly, you'll install the synthetic rubber slip cover. The first thing that I notice is, wow, this case is huge. I mean, I don't have the biggest hands, but they're not the smallest either. With this case, I definitely can't wrap my entire hand around it. And for a quick size comparison, I brought in my Note 5. And as you can see here with this case installed, the G5 is practically just as big. Let's take a quick look at the back of the case. And as I mentioned earlier, this one's definitely the most protective out of the bunch. You've also got a belt holster here, and with this the case snaps right in. Already when I consider the size of this case though, I'd say for me personally, I wouldn't be using the belt clip, but I know that this is important for some of you out there. Also notice that the clip swivels 360 degrees, and that's a nice touch. Along the bottom, everything's in order and you've got a dust plug here as well. You'll also notice that as you go to charge your phone, when you open the dust plug there's a notch there to prevent it from closing. One concern that I had is that when it comes to the speaker grill, because the well is so deep, it's probably easy to cover up. I've been on the phone for like a week, and then one day she's like, When are you gonna take me out? Well, I mean, when are you free? Well, you know, next week is Valentine's Day. 
Up top, we've got more of the same. It's familiar, yet it's got all the proper cutouts. When it comes to touch sensitivity with the built-in screen protector, there's not a single issue here. Whether you're swiping, sliding, or using the normal gestures, everything works just as you'd expect it to. I found that the volume rocker was quite responsive and clicky, giving just the right amount of feedback. And with this case, the dual camera is the most protected by far. And speaking of the camera, since the front facing is covered by that screen protector, I thought I'd test that out. I didn't find there to be any issues, and that photos looked as though there was nothing covering the camera at all. Next up, we've got the UAG composite case. I did do a full, complete review on this case in a separate video. You can find it by clicking on the card in the top left hand corner. So when you finish this video, go and check it out. Next, we've got the Terrapin Wallet style case, and when it comes to these types of cases, they're one of my favorite manufacturers. It's protective, essentially two pieces, and looks good too. You've got two slots for cards here. It's made from a polyurethane, giving you a nice leather-like look, and I like the fact that the magnetic clasp keeps the cover tightly sealed. Given that the phone sits inside of this thin case, the bottom's completely open, and the same applies up top as well. You'll find that your phone is mostly covered here just in case it happened to take a fall. It does have a nice thin profile here, and I like the attention to detail. You'll also find that the magnet here is strong enough to hold the case open, as well as a minimal lip around the display. Lastly, this case also has that built-in stand functionality, so that you can watch videos for as long as you'd like, without having to hold the phone. Next up, I've got another wallet style case, and this time it's by Orsley. It's got a bit of a different feel to it in the hand. I'd say that this one feels a bit more thick, especially when I compare the in-hand feeling to the Terrapin case. Installation for both of these are rated easy. They just snap right in. Another thing I also notice right away is that when it comes to the fingerprint scanner and the camera cutout, they seem pretty thick here. I think from this angle you get a good view. With the Orsley wallet, you also get three card slots here. They're also easier to get into, and there is a space in case you want to carry some cash. Now, because this case does seem a little bit thicker, I think you might have just a bit more protection here. Although I'd say the polycarbonate liner is better on the Terrapin, but you'll be protected with either. Again, along the bottom, it's open here. There's nothing along the left-hand side. And up top, more of the same, it's completely open. On the front of this case is where you'll find the Orsley branding here etched into the bottom of the case. And on the back you've got the cutouts for the camera and fingerprint scanner. This case also has that built-in stand functionality, so feel free to prop up your phone for hours on end. And before I forget all the cases that we've seen so far, the links are down below, so you can go and check them out. This next case is by Orsley as well, it's called the Flexi Slim Bumper Case. Now what I like about this case is it's just that, it's super thin. This is probably the least protective that we're going to look at today. It does maintain the thin profile of the G5 and doesn't add any extra bulk. You've got nice and precise cutouts along the bottom. Some Orsley branding here in the bottom right hand corner. Cutouts for everything that you need up top. And there's also a cutout along the left hand side for the volume rocker. And I think that's a nice touch. On the back of the case there's no extra room to spare when it comes to the dual camera and fingerprint scanner. And even though it's frosted the G5 shines through. You've got a very minimal bezel here so there is that lay on the table support. Next up, we've got another favorite case of mine for the G5 and that's the Poetic Affinity. This one piece case is made from a TPU bumper and a polycarbonate outer. Installation with this case as well is super easy. The bumper comes in multiple colors, but I like the black here. Along the bottom when it comes to the cutouts, as you can see here they're super precise. Nice job Poetic. Along the right hand side you've got these ridges for protection, which will also aid in shock dissipation and impact. Up top you've got the appropriate cutouts for your noise cancelling microphone, your IR blaster, and your 3.5mm headphone jack. There's two distinct raised buttons for the volume up and down, both of which are quite responsive and tactile. And along the back, you've got great access to the fingerprint scanner. One thing I'll point out here is that when you have the clear polycarbonate backs, you've got to watch out for scratches, so just keep that in mind. You've got about a 1mm bezel which runs the perimeter of the display, and each of your corners have been beefed up for drop protection. As I mentioned earlier, the links are down below, so go and check them out. Next, we've got a case from the Poetic Revolution series. This case is super rugged, it's a two-piece case that provides full body protection. It's also got a built-in screen protector here, so you won't need to purchase that separately. When it comes to the installation, it's not the easiest, but it's not the most difficult either. Just be sure to separate the two parts of the case. You'll find that the protector portion is super clear, which I like that. Place the phone in this portion of the case for the install, and then replace the bottom. Just make sure that you snap both pieces of the case together to create the seal. And once you're done, you've got that complete body protection. 
Just as with the OtterBox Defender, I had to take a look at the touch sensitivity to make sure there were no issues here. When it came to scrolling, swiping, and general gestures, there were no issues and everything worked just as I'd expected to. And that includes the notification panel. One thing I do see here is that rainbow effect, and I've talked about this in other videos. Not necessarily in reference to this particular case, but it's here. When it comes to the cutouts along the bottom, we've got a dust flap here, and everything's in order. We've got a distinct volume up and volume down button. You'll have no trouble finding those. They're clicky and quite nice. Up top, you've got another dust plug, along with a cutout for your noise-canceling mic and IR blaster. On the back of the case, with this hard polycarbonate, notice that your camera's completely protected. And along the bottom, you've got that poetic branding. If you're looking for that full body protection, the link's down below, so go and check it out. Lastly, we've got the CDO surface, and this is another two-piece case. It comes with a kickstand. It's made from a hard polycarbonate outer with a TPU inner. As I mentioned earlier, when it comes to protection, this is the type of combination you'll want to go for if that's what you're looking for. Installation with this case is super easy. You'll just insert the phone into the flexible TPU and then replace the outer shell. Make sure that you securely snap the two pieces back together to complete that full protective covering. And here's our first look at the case. What do you think? How's it look? I like how the red here complements my G5, but if you're not a fan of that, this case does come in multiple color options. And just as we've seen with all the cases that came before this one, along the bottom there's no issues with the cutouts. On the right hand side it's as smooth as it can be. Up top everything appears to be in order so we won't spend a lot of time here. On the left hand side I like the separation in the polycarbonate and the way that the TPU comes through. The volume up and down buttons, they respond in the right way. On the back of the case, you've got the appropriate cutouts for the camera and fingerprint scanner. But for some, the true prize is this kickstand. It's got the CDO branding here. It's got a magnetic hinge to help keep things closed, as well as being made from metal, which is a nice touch. You've got a decent sized bezel here for that lay on the table support. So this case has got everything you're looking for. If you're looking to change things up with your G5, there's something here for everyone. We've gone from protective, stylish, thin, and cost effective. The links are down below if you're interested, so go and check them out. Okay, so there you have it. What do you guys think of these top 10 cases for the LG G5? Leave it in the comments below. As I was doing my research, I was looking for a case that would actually protect the display, mostly because of the weird curve that's at the top, while at the same time not breaking the bank. Whether you're looking for protection, style, thin fit, or affordability, I think there's something here for everyone. If you've enjoyed this video, do leave a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.